velocity, acceleration, and force. The relationship between them and how we can use them in our game development. In this video, we will also show how you can use velocity, acceleration, or force in Buildbox Engine and Unity Engine. Velocity can also be referred as speed, and the equation for it is distance over time. It can be measured in meters per second, miles per hour, or kilometers per hour. For demonstrations, we're going to use two cars. Red convertible weighs one kilogram, and a yellow car that weighs two kilograms. We'll be displaying the speed of each car. Let's demonstrate velocity. If we click on the screen right now, the velocity is going to be set to 10, and the vehicles are going to start moving. The velocity was set, and the vehicles continue moving in 10 meters per second. Now let's look at acceleration. Acceleration is change in velocity over time, and the equation for it is velocity over time. The units that we can find for acceleration are meters per second squared, miles per hour squared, kilometers per hour squared, and also gravity is measured in meters per second squared, and gravity of Earth is 9.8 meters per second squared. To demonstrate acceleration, we set acceleration of both vehicles to 10. Now if we click on the screen, we can see that the vehicle starts accelerating and the velocity continues increasing until we release the button. If we accelerate for only a short period of time, we continue moving at the speed we stopped accelerating. Now let's look at force. Force equals to acceleration times mass. And the units that we can find are newtons or kilogram meters per second squared. Let's see a demonstration of force. For demonstration, we are applying 10 newtons on each car. And as you can see, the speed of a red car increases faster than the speed of yellow car. And that's because our yellow car is heavier. So now that we look through all the demonstrations, what and where would you use if you want something to move at the constant speed in your game, then you would want to use velocity. If you want to increase speed over time of your object, and you don't care what's the mass of the object, then you want to use acceleration. If you want to increase the speed of an object, and you want it to be also affected by the mass, then you want to use force. Now let's take a look how you can implement velocity, acceleration, and force in Buildbox. In Buildbox, we set physics to dynamic to the object we want to apply velocity, acceleration, or force. For our demonstration, we created our own nodes. There'll be a link in description of how you can add these nodes into your Buildbox game. Our velocity node has one input, go, and we have a attribute velocity. In our script, on init, we get our velocity attribute, and we get the physics object of our entity. When we get the signal and the value is true, we pull the physics current velocity, set velocity to our attribute velocity, where it's not null, and set our linear velocity, our physics, to our new calculated velocity. For acceleration, we have the same setup. We have one input, go, and we have a attribute acceleration. In our script, we added a boolean go, and by default, it's false. And in our init function, we get our attribute acceleration and our entity's physics. In our update, if go is true, we get physics linear velocity, and instead of setting velocity to our acceleration, we multiply acceleration by delta time and add it to our current velocity. And then we set linear velocity to our, our new calculated velocity. In the signal function, whenever we get a signal, we set the value of our signal to go, which switches go between true and false. The force node is exactly like acceleration node, except in force node, in update, we get physics mass of our object, and when we calculate for velocity, we add force times delta time, and we divide it by our mass. And then we set linear velocity to our calculated value. These are the three nodes that we have created. Now let's take a look how we can implement that in Unity. In Unity, you can add a rigid body to your object. In our demonstration, we'll use rigid body 2D, and you can have a public vector 2 variable to get velocity setting. And to set velocity, all you have to do is get the component from the object and then the rigid body object has the velocity and you set the velocity to your desired velocity. For acceleration, we have the same setup. We have a public input acceleration and in start we get the component 
and in our fixed update, we want to use the rigid body and use the add force method. And since we want to do acceleration, we need to multiply by our mass of the object, which we can find in the rigid body 2D mass. For force, we get the input, get the component, and we just add the force directly to the rigid body. And that's how we can implement velocity, acceleration, and force in the Unity engine. Thank you for watching. We hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, write in the comments below. And subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos.